there's been a lot of movies in the, you know in the genre in the Greek you know mythology. But to me, this one, uh, these kinds of movies are all in the execution. You know, and it's a filmmaker. It's Tarsem's canvas. That's what makes this one, I think, different and hopefully holds up. Yeah, with Stavros, uh, I think, you know, he wanted the character to be not as serious as everybody else. Everybody in the movie, because of the text, is very serious, you know. You know, Henry's, uh, Theseus' mom's been killed viciously by Mickey Rourke, you know. Phaedra's a thinker and she's sensing all these things. Everybody's very serious. Stavros just wants to get a beer and, you know, get laid, you know what I mean? I mean, he sees a pretty girl he sees, I think, as a slave and a thief, which is what I had to go on for my guy. Uh, I, I looked at him as a bit of a loner. He's hungry. He's probably horny. He's, uh, he's uptight. And the truth is um, he could go down uh, by himself or he could go down with a hot chick and more bodies and, and maybe help mankind. And I think uh, by the end of the movie, hopefully, it, it makes sense to where that I bonded with Theseus and we're going to try to take this guy down together, you know? And I guess I was wrong. You know, the shooting of this film felt like a real film. Like from what I hear about certain green screen movies and is that you're really just standing there and like this chair would be an apple box and then they'll put the chair in after or I'm talking to you but you're not there and you know this movie Tarsem made it feel very grounded so we had real sets with real horses real extras real atmosphere real real ambiance so the green screen goes behind us but at the same time by doing that I think it enabled us to really tell the story and made it feel more like a real movie even though we were inside a stage most of the time you know so I like to learn the moves and stuff but I find that if I like am rehearsing it too much. I guess, you know, there is a freneticness that happens when you rehearse. I mean, you know, I think for somebody like what Henry's doing, where he's he got a lot more moves than I do, and he's fighting in a lot of the movie, I think. So, you know, for him, I think it was important to rehearse. You know, there's a lot of moves. If you go left and the guy goes right, you're going to get hit. <laughs> It's a bite off Star Wars, I don't think that's fair to say, but I, I also don't think, it, it's basically, all these movies are the same. In the end, there's a bad guy, a good guy, right. a pretty girl. Yeah, and, and so like, you can get as deep as you want with it, but everybody's reinventing movies all the time. It's just, it's just what's that canvas gonna be like? What's Ron Howard's race car movie gonna be like that's different from this race car movie? What, you know, and you go with that filmmaker's journey, you know? <laughs>